One trio is a deck that I just cannot get enough of. I absolutely love Mill. Because it ain't like Snorlax. Snorlax, right? It's basically a passing simulator. Nobody's playing. Nobody's having fun. But Wag Trio is aggressive Mill. And that means it's a race. Who wins? Do I mill your deck first? Or do you take six prizes first? So I've been taking a lot of time with Wag Trio to try and optimize it to a level that I am satisfied with. And I think I've just about got there. So as a quick refresher, Wag Trio flips three coins and for each head mills your opponent's deck by three cards. And with the likes of Reversal Energy, as soon as you go behind on prizes, you can do it with one energy attachment. We all know that. Now, in testing this deck, there was a couple strategies I noticed my opponent trying to implement to avoid wasting any turns and giving me more chances of mill. And that would be avoiding benching liabilities for the counter catcher to bring up, because of course we play counter catcher. So they opt by just not benching that and having one or two Pokemon in play that can just attack the Wag Trio. And so to avoid that, I've put in two cards that I haven't played in my trio before. Echoing Horn, which maybe I should have played in it before because of course you can just Echoing Horn something to the bench on the discard pile to then counter catch it to the active. But I also play Erica's Invitation. Taking a page out of the aforementioned Snorlax, being able to look at your opponent's hand and just bringing a basic straight from there to the active. So if your opponent is holding a Pokemon that they don't want to bench for some reason, you can Erica's Invitation it to the active to get that trapped because odds are they're holding a Pokemon they don't want in play. But nine times out of ten on this ladder, your opponent is just going to try and out play you they're going to be benching everything and playing which only helps if the counter catcher plays so in those cases you don't always need them but i thought they were pretty good text to use but ultimately with that said let's get in some games and start milling. And a quick shout out to our sponsors, PDCGL Store, where you can buy codes to bling out your decks using code FDW for 5% off. TCG Bulk, where you can buy and sell your bulk cards and whatnot. But you can buy and sell collectible Pokemon cards live. And they're even giving you £10 off your first purchase using my special link. Links to all sponsors are in the description below. But for now, let's get going. All right, pen against Zart. And let's go. They're not happy for some reason. Must have a terrible hand or something. Let's get a Bidoof down. Artisan's nice. We'll help them but i think i need the help too and i'll artisan and get myself a wiglet i think i'll throw the turbo on as well let's go for that and next time we're looking all right let's just end turn wait what palkia huh frigid bat wait a second we're playing a strange chen pao well good thing is is chen pao does like to draw a lot of cards discard a lot of cards and that's gonna help us on our journey so let's see right important to note now we need to get a manifu down they artisan for a frigid bat though and they a reader watch them grab a bat's caliber rare candy and I'm just going to judge him. <laughs> right. So here, I think it's not correct to attach the reversal energy, but I think I might just do it just to start milling quickly. I do have Roseanne's backup in this deck, so I can recover at least one more reversal at some point in the game. I need a better board state for that, of course, so I can dig a little bit whilst playing the Roseanne. But if I can do that, then it would make attaching this perfectly fine. Um, we'll, we'll see. But I think the early doors aggression is going to be very useful here. So and this build I've noticed wants to be super aggressive early on because you're not playing stuff like Spadops to to trap up things, right? To throw things into active and try by turns. It's just instead trying to mill really quickly and just get some good coin flips. That's what it's really trying to do. It doesn't feel great, but screw it. We'll take it. Let's go for this. Just going to get the work trio here. And then I think I just judge. Let's go for an artisan as well before I judge. Don't want to judge into a Manaphy if I can throw one down now. There you go. And we judge him. There we are. Lovely stuff. What do we get? Oh, yes. Oh, wow. Okay, that's actually really good. Oh, oh, oh. Don't you love it when you just judge it to the perfect hand? It's absolutely mental. Let's get a wiggle it down. I'm going to go full send, man. Let's just overboard ourselves like I'm on a shit. And okay. Lovely. Level ball. Get myself another Wuggy Wuggy. Huggy Wuggy. We're playing Bobby Blade Dad. Throw that Wug Trio down. We'll hold off on the aroma, which I know is a weird inclusion, but I do talk about it in, in another game, so you'll see why. Nonetheless, that's another Sea Tunnel very early. Can we get some heads? No, no. Okay, I'll take three. Three is better than zero. And we get rid of... Oh, yeah, we draw three as well. I forgot about the blunder. That's pretty cool. Superior, Water, and Chen Pao. All gone down the drain. Now, they take a KO. That's where I start bringing up some Palkias and stuff. That said, the uh, there is a bit of a risk of Star Portal. And that does get them out. Maybe I'll try and see if they can Star Portal them first. And then get there. It's to a point of being able to stick something into the active. I don't know. This one, uh, in Chen Pao, your target is Bibarel mainly, right? Because you're forcing them to then attach to the... Chen Pao, which kind of, sorry, the barrel to retreat, which forces a lot more superior energy retrievals out of them so that they are using resources in the wrong way. That's what I like doing this deck. It's like forcing them to use resources in a way that they don't want to. And that's what I really like. So I think I just hold this hand, you know, because... They clearly don't have it. And I kind of got everything I need. I've got another work trio here. I mean, we've got the reversal, counter catcher, 
We've got everything we need. So let's just go for another undersea tunnel. And then he heads one, two, and three, baby. That's nine cards in the discard pile. Absolutely beautiful. A lot of stuff there. VIP pass, research, boss, water, water, ultra ball, rare candy, nest ball, and Manaphy. All down the drain, baby. There's a concealed card coming in. A retreat to the gem power. What's funny is they actually somehow pull off a canceling cologne Greninja play. They still can't even take out my board because I have three work trio in play. So that's quite nice. That's why I like the third. Because even if they pull it off, we still have an attacker following up. Like the worst case scenario for our deck is to have a turn where we're not milling. We don't want that. We want to make sure... This is why I've got Quad Artisan, right? Because, like, you can just, you know, recover things. Actually, that said, Artisan's not really that good for that sake. I was thinking more thinking of Rod. But it just keeps your board going naturally, right? Um, Rescue Carrier is good for recovery and all that jazz. But ultimately, you just want to keep attacking every single turn. That's it. Let's see if they, they pass. Oh, my God. Things are, they're, they're having a blunder. Jesus, mate. That's outrageous. So, again, we kind of just hold. We shouldn't do anything because they've passed. Yeah, they have a KO next turn, but I mean, at this rate, come on. Come on. Ahead. Okay. Do you know what? Fine. It happens. It's going to happen. Nora Ravage just came through there. I still draw three cards off the blunder, though, so that's fine. Well, it might actually be worth just benching, uh, attaching a turbo somewhere. Maybe throw it on a big barrel in case they try and trap me up. I mean, I do have Jet in this deck. I've seen a lot of um, Wagtrios play Gift Energy, which isn't bad, but I prefer Jet um, primarily because you then would need to, if you add the Gifts, you would need to. Uh, uh, commit deck space to switch cards so you don't get trapped in the active or something like that even though to be fair you could just attach the barrel and retreat i just like the additional switch out i think it does help a lot in the game that said gift plus just like attaching reversal or a double turbo retreating is also still a thing i guess you could say because do you no no because yeah i would still prefer the outs otherwise uh, uh, let me know comments gift or jet i prefer jet because of its uh the dex maneuverability is a bit better mobility but gift can get you out of a very bad hand right god that's some good questions anyway also there's another version of wag trio mill that i'm gonna work on that i think looks really fun and i'm gonna give it a go it's gonna be very 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 interested it's, it's actually kind of i'm not i'm sure it's been done before but it is inspired by a post rotation deck and i'm just kind of kind of readjust it to see what we can do if wait star portal uh, now that i think about it though i don't think it actually needs that oh no no i think it's good okay actually yeah no, uh, yeah got an idea for another work trio so we'll have another work trio come out soon now star portal's offline though ah uh, yeah okay so they've attached a ton of energy right clearly in preparation for hand disruption and stuff um i'm just gonna boss up this back caliber just just bring up the bats caliber keep them on a low hand size and then just start milling again because they've overly attached they might not have a retreat for this, Donnie. Let's see. Hailblade coming in. Taking out a Wag Trio. Well, they discarded one of the Power Cure as well, funny enough. But yeah, that you can see they, they're, what, they're wanting their cancelling cologne. But I'm milling, so I might be able to hit it. And that's what I'm looking for now. Right. I don't really need to thin. Actually, I can answer. Do I have another? I don't have another Wiglet. Um, let me think. Let me look at my deck quickly. Did they discard any Pokemon that I can maybe trap up at some point? No, number two uh, retreat cost. Okay. I've got the two rescue carriers. I think we are okay. Let me Lotto. And we get a Jet. So I can throw the Turbo here. So the next turn we're cooking. In. The turn afterwards, though, I'm definitely gonna need to find a rescue carrier because we'll be running, we'll be running short. Maybe I, maybe I try and do that now. Actually, do you know what? Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna try and find a carrier. I, I don't want to play Iono because their hands already clearly they've just used up all their energy. Uh, let's let's play that and I can fail that. That's fine. A Lugia player is getting very excited there. Calm down. All right, it's not for you. Let me incisors and no, unfortunately not. Actually, let me check my. Oh, I've priced one. Let's go. Let's go for a heavy ball, bro. Just get myself a Wiglet. You could also play Peonia in this deck because if you have bad pricing, you just lose but, but yeah you can pay peonia but i i, I don't know I, I think we can make do about it anyway uh do i just go for it now i think i do yeah that's undersea tunnel not gonna hand disrupt because of course i don't want to give them energy tails and tails god can i at least have at least like two heads one tail so i feel like i'm missing that uh either way then the policy does come in so that's fine now i need to see if they have the retreat though but i think at this rate so long as we keep churning out work trios and attacking we just win seven cards left in deck i mean bro just by the law of averages we win unless we get like 20 tails you know <laughs> which can happen let's let's not let's not jinx it now there's a superior energy retrieval that's going to get in their retreat how many superiors are they down they're down three okay they do attach two backs caliber and they're gonna put three i think they're just gonna attack with it that's not a bad shout to be fair to you in that case i'll just boss up something like a uh pidgey or something like that oh they're gonna boss and they're going for the mana fee okay we definitely rescue carrier now yeah we have to just rescue carrier here yeah rescue carrier is definitely on the card so i think i level ball for a white trio let's grab that we also top decked a counter catcher that's really good go for that play we'll counter catcher up uh the frigid backs i guess and now i now i, I own that's going to make me see the most cards here, I think. I could also burn the level ball. One, two, three. I might need it. Okay, I'm going to hold it. Actually, I could have ultra couldn't I? I could have ultra to thin it, thin out a little bit. Ah, but it is what it is. Okay, still nothing of use there.
there, which does kind of suck. I can jet though, and I actually might just do that. Yeah, I lose out on the blunder, but that's that's fine. I just desperately right now need. Well, not desperately. I think I still win. But uh, rescue carry up, please. Come out. <laughs> Come on. You're lurking in there. All right. I've done a lot of bottle deck stuff. Actually, I did just shuffle my deck with the capturing aroma. So no, that that kind of failed it. Well, I, please. I actually decreased my odds with the capturing aroma. That's kind of wild. Yeah, I kind of screwed myself there. That said, we still have one more work trio on top, even if they pull off the Greninja, but we might get nine now. Ah, oh, okay. All right. Well, the odds are still going in our favor. Three cards left in deck plus top deck. We should win next turn, right? We have to. What's funny is that even at one point, right, consider just for this unique scenario, adding like a water energy and crabominable just to go like, okay, nil two, bye-bye. <laughs> but I thought it was just too too niche of a use case. Either way, there's a switch, a heavy ball. Are they even taking enough prizes to win? They have to take four prizes, two here. They draw one. Then they take one. They draw one. Okay, so they can still technically win, but literally by, by a hair by a literal hair strand. What's funny is we haven't even seen a single single Pidgeot EX, actually. I haven't seen one. That must surprise them, huh? All right, two prizes for them there. They got away with that one for sure, but they mustn't have enough to pull it off now. All right, reversal energy. I am going to... Judge is a bad idea because I actually increase the amount. Actually, it doesn't matter, does it? Well, not really. Oh, no, I've got Arvin. Blah, the doy just rescue carry out. <laughs> I completely forgot to play Arvin in the deck, bro. I've just got an Arvin. I could do this for me. <laughs> All right, you and you, so you don't get another two prize turn. I'm not stupid, all right? I know you could win like that. So let's do that. And then we have to basically dig for our, our other, our other rescue carrier. And oh, look at that. That's great news. Just bring up the fridge of backs. Again, force one extra energy attachment where they might not want to. There's the other rescue carrier. That's huge. I could do that next turn, if anything. Let's go for Undersea Tunnel. Let's just see. We, I think we win. And there you go. That's GG. And it's with the 2-2, two, two, the 2-1. Two, Heads, tails, which I wanted for ages. There's the Pidgeot. Either way, GG's, baby. All right, there is a Bidoof versus a Bidoof. Look at this. Mine's better, though, because it's got more bling. They gave me a thumbs up, uh, which you can't see. And this hand is not great, but it's never great with this deck. We always find the way, though. There's a Wiglet, and we definitely evolve next turn. That's good. Squirt, we're playing Blastoise, brother. Okay, let's see some Blastoise action. Getting rid of two water energy there. They want to get themselves a Palkia, of course. Luminion, though. Okay, a lot of Pokemon. Blastoise, Palkia. The Pokemon we can just kind of stick into the active, you know. This could be a good game for sure for sure early a reader and they play it getting a ninja and vip pass go on let me see a palkia go on they bench vip pass so bench the <laughs> they bench the VIP. vip pass coming to the bench there's the palkia and the squirtle concealed cards coming in and i expect to pass maybe an attachment to padoof retreat or they just hold the padoof so they can retreat next turn yeah there you go all right we can start playing pokemon now that's great fun and i'm actually tempted to just hold and to evolve the bench to the barrel next turn i expect them to get a ko here and if they play rope then i can throw something else up instead of just evolving and causing problem because i was going to see one more card which just wouldn't have done anything for me. There we go, Rare Candy. Blastoise coming out, and it's the beautiful. I absolutely love this artwork, by the way. It's just stunning. It's a shame Blastoise can't actually be that meta, because this, against the Charizard, like, you actually have some good runnings. But either way, let's evolve here, and we're just getting garbage. Garbage stuff. I was so, so hoping that we would have been able to find a Squiver out of that, you know? I need, I need Squiver now, and we're just not getting it, I'm afraid. There's a lot, I'll take that. Let's get the reversal. I mean, I still just kind of pass. I still need to wait for that first knockout. Blastoise has three retreat. Oh, we're cooking. Ah, uh, yeah, that. Oh, 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 they're just gonna. Okay, they're bricking as well. Fair play. Right, we're in Bricktown, are we? There's an artisan. That's nice. I can actually get a Squivet down, which is just gonna help me turbocharge my way forward. That said, there's a lot of Pokemon on the bench that isn't Wiglet, so that's a bit concerning. But anyway, let's nest dash here and try and get that other Wiglet. Did get a work trio. Let's see what we can do. Um, we. Uh, ooh, uh, yeah, ooh, I, I'm gonna do this? I, okay, they're bricking anyway, so I, I'm getting the Wiglet super important, plus if they take a KO, actually no, because now my barrel's just kind of sitting there, isn't it? Yeah, well, uh, we're, we're fine, trust me, <laughs> not worried at all. What's their energy, by the way? Three and disco, okay, so they can just charge, them. yeah, they can just go straight to Blastoise, but if they do that, then I can at least go for a, a play, but, oh, uh, do you know what? I'm now happy, because I can now try and find another bit barrel, because they keep passing. They're in full brick town, bro. I'm not giving you any cards, bro. Yeah, you just think you are. No, no shot. Let's go for this. If anything, I should have just started finding, trying to find a turbo and start milling that way, but no. Capturing Aroma, and it's a Tails, unfortunately. I put in the Capturing Aroma just to be able to get Big Barrel, and it's failing there. Either way, I can Arvin here. I could just ditch my blunders, you know. I mean... It's not terrible. It's not a terrible move. But I, I, you know, I'll ditch. I'll ditch one. No, I'll mm. Yeah, I'm going to ditch my blunders. I, I think I'm not going to go for the blunders here. Uh, oh, bro. Are you kidding me? This is why you deck check. <laughs> bro just ditched blunders for the fun of it. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, I guess we're just doing this then. Sure thing, chief. Sure thing. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, that was very daft. Right, can you take a KO, please? I need to start milling, man. There's an ultra ball. So they will get the barrel. You, you gotta get the barrel retreat. You gotta get going. Oh, that's so they could just get uh, Palkia out. They're getting rid of her. Oh, they had the switch. And they're getting rid of them too. Uh, what are they gonna do? The barrel of Palkia. The barrel is definitely correct. But you retreat first. Yeah, they retreat. But you, now you're committing early. Yeah, they're gonna commit early into the Palkia. So if they accelerate to the Palkia and attack with Palkia, then it's definitely prime territory to counter catch the Blastoise because they're not gonna be able to retreat. They will be able to attack if they put one energy on the Blastoise. Toys. Um, but it also depends if they get if they get another blast toys out here. That's kind of bad news. I don't think they will. Though. I don't think they've got enough because then I could boss up one or the other. Let's see what they choose to do. I think they attack with the Palkia and attach one to blast toys. I think that's what they're gonna do. In that case, I stick up the barrel, right? Yeah, I throw up the barrel. Right, there's Star Portal. And they're gonna throw one on the Greninja. Okay. Huh. And they're gonna boss up my Manaphy, right? Okay. Well, I could just have them for a, a rescue carrier if that's a problem. But I think right now, I think the priority is just gust this up. So I might have to have them for that instead. Let's see. Let's see where this takes us. So I'm curious as to what I should do here. Level ball. It's not the top deck you really want, is it? I think I just risk it a bit and just oven up this Blastoise. They clearly are bricking a little bit. I mean, how much switch does this deck play? Uh, oh, that's true. That could be worrisome. Well, let's see. I'm gonna go for a nest dash and try and get a rescue carrier because I need that. Uh, Devil Turbo, you don't like that? I could have attached that actually to try and get more. Yeah, maybe I should have. So, it's a risky business because if they have a switch in this deck, I didn't even think about that. They could just pull it off. In that case, I think it's actually correct to make. Is it smart to bench a Wiglet now? I don't want to run out of attackers. No, they need to attach twice to Greninja, right? So we're not actually in any threat next turn. So I think what I do is I just obviously tunnel, right? Yeah, they are just tunnel. All right, I'm just going to tunnel. I'm sitting here thinking like they're going to be able to Greninja next turn. They can't. And it's a... Okay, all right, fine. I'll take three. Three's better than zero, as always. And that's some cards gone there. Still not too great. But I think that Blastoise is going to be very useful for us for trapping. So there's a barrel for two. How many switch outs do they have? They've only gotten the one. I would expect at best three. And they should have good outs to it with the reader. So we need them to burn their switches and then get to... So if we say at best three switch cards, they probably have two turns left. This one and next one. And I have three counter catches left. So we do have more in terms of trying to trap some getting active. So that's good. Uh, they get a war turtle and a vessel? Hold on a second. Why? Also, isn't that just is beautiful. What's funny is the, uh, although the hollow effect is terrible, it kind of suits the water, right? Because it's underwater. <laughs> See, this is a very nice hollow effect. Uh, well, is that a nice hollow effect? It just looks like it's got shiny bits in it. I don't know. The, listen, I'm just waiting for pockets to come out, all right? Then I can look at beautiful cards. There's a lake acuity. It doesn't matter. I'm surprised they didn't get a switch. They mustn't have another switch. They must have uh, They must have either prized one and only played two or they... I don't know. I actually don't know. Right. So we're going to go for round two on digging for the rescue carrier to get our mana fee back. Let's see if we can do that. There we go. Rescue carrier. That's beautiful. Let's throw that down. Bring that into play. Don't need the artisan. Um, I could try and find something else here. I mean, what could I go for? This is a turn where like finding Roseanne's and like Erica's and stuff like that's quite good, but I don't think either of them are going to be useful here because well, they do nothing. <laughs> but we'll, we'll, we'll try and feel. Yeah, okay. That's a hand that I'm a bit more comfortable with. And let's just go for another sea tunnel, bro. Come on. Give me some heads, tails, tails, and tails. How many times has that happened? Jesus. That's what you see in your nightmares for people who play Wag Trio, isn't it? The triple tails. <laughs> go on, get another Blastoise out. Go on. So that way I can just gust that one up instead. Hey, how about that? How about that then? Oh, they just get superior? Okay, no Blastoise. They must play like a, a two, two, one, two line of Blastoise. That'd be my guess. Uh, their pricing is rough. But it did recover two energy, so they can take a KO with the active Blastoise. But that's something we can we can bring up the War Turtle. Might even be worth, as I said, bringing up the Barrel, because that's something they're going to have to retreat, even though they don't want to. Well, not don't want to retreat, but don't want to attach to, is what I meant to say. Yeah, I mean, that makes the most sense, doesn't it? I don't think it actually matters, to be fair. But I think we try and bring up the Barrel this turn anyway. Right, let's bring up Rob Trio. To be fair, we're, we're winning the race right now. 11 cards to mill, four prizes for them to take. We are definitely definitely in the driver's seat. And I don't think I do anything else here. I, I could look for... Do I? No. Do I? I think consistency is more... Mm, uh, screw it. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna get punished by this. I'm going to nest dash. So I have I have pretty much what I need next turn for Owag Trio. But if I can... Yes. I was trying to think if I could do that and then try and cheek. I mean, we play a lot of outs to my Wag Trios and stuff. So I think we should be fine. Yep, there you go. So nothing to even be worried about. I'm going to see Tunnel again. We've got to see some heads now, man. Come on, we've seen more tails than heads this game. And it's it's going to continue on that trend, I'm afraid. Three mils. Two Blastoise gone, though. Oh, oh, oh. There's a water. Blastoise, Blastoise. <laughs> That's kind of bad when you think about it. It means they can't evolve into a Blastoise for us to then trap. But that said, this bit barrel seems to be stuck. We seem to be doing well here. Vessel, getting rid of letters of encouragement, which is useless against me. And we could be 
talking. As the industrious, was that for one? I think the industrious for one. Oh, bro, we're winning this. There's, there's no way we're losing. I'm just sorry, that's not happening. Especially when I do this. <laughs> Counter catcher. Hi, Walker. Hello. <laughs> Let's play a Roseanne as well, just been a safe tide. You never know, we could get some weird Tails actions. We don't want that. Let's go for a blunder. Let's get you back. And there you go. Yeah, Roseanne's actually quite good in this deck. Anyway, Undersea Tunnel. Can we please get two heads? I think we deserve it here. Zero, one, and two. There you go. Another win on the board with the Wug Trio. Let's go. GG's, my friend. That said, that was a, a, a bad matchup for them. I mean, Jesus, the amount of high retreat cost Pokemon they had is ridiculous. Well, that's certainly a hand to remember. Look at this fraudulence. So, I think we Ultra Ball away. You and probably the Lotto, I think. And we just get ourselves a Wug Trio. Oh, God, not liking the hands matchup. Plus this terrible start. But we'll see where it takes us. Even before they escape rope and then just, like, take out my, wug my Wiglet. <laughs> Man, it's possible. It's possible. There's an energy on the hands. Town store. Yep, yeah, this is the Peony build. But a bit of an awkward start in terms of what they want. They want hands on the bench, you know what I mean? They do not want it in the active. That's a very rough start for the Peony hands build. Also, if they bench another hands and fail to charge it up or if they manage to retreat this one that is a counter catcher target something we could just bring up that they're going to struggle to work with and can buy us a couple turns in mill so even though they have the ampi very much which is like perfect for them because they just ko everything that i have for two prizes i can still trap them and go for some mill anyway there's a generator they do hit it of course and they do get the two on the hands they only have the mew to work with here though interesting they didn't get squivet squivet is like the definite target so they must have prized it another generator though and a single hit there town store there's no forest steel stoners on the bench so uh thank god for that because they are they're druggies it anyway, they attach the uh the xp share to the mute and par and we get a get out of jail card thank god for that all right let's evolve you here and just go for it does help them but that said i don't care i want to get this badoof uh out of the active throw something else in there and that's gonna do it i'm gonna throw a wiglet down i'm gonna town store as well just get myself a blunder why not then i go for an artisan like so i think it's inevitable that the hand is gonna come up and take a ko next turn so i think i just give him something just like the the jirachi and just go yeah take that fine take your two prizes but i'm gonna come in and start swinging afterwards so let's just throw a jet there attached blunder i think uh i shouldn't really attach it unless i'm gonna use it right okay let's do that and just enter there's an energy on the hands so they're gonna just want to instantly like switch cart here right exp share down though generator again okay keep keep going man you're just making your deck thinner and thinner this is what we want generator ah they failed that one though peony again oh, oh, oh. yeah just keep going keep going please i was hoping that was a research because that would be even more mill potential so you see the fact that they, you see how this works out right they find they take two extra prizes which means they only need effectively three ko's to win but if they mill their hand down enough it could be oh actually that's annoying don't get heads oh, of course they get heads you know why it's because they're fraudulent. They're bringing up a do. Okay, I didn't see that one coming. I did not see that coming in a mile. Okay, uh, that's fine. Granted, not great. I've got Artisan to bring another Bidoof in. I keep my Wugtrio. I thought they were going to bring the Wugtrio up, but no, they're not doing that. So now... I can counter catcher this up. I think I play Arvin just to do that, you know. The hands are really, well, the hands is, has gotten a bit bigger there. Um, but I think counter, uh, yeah, oh, actually, that is kind of a, a, a good question right now, isn't it? Let's bench this Wiglet, go for an Artisan and just get myself another Bidoof down, go for the Blunder. I think I do, because then I can actually Iono next turn, and that could be very strong. Yeah, let's just counter catcher here and just try and go for some Mill and just hope for the best. I mean, it could have another Peony, but we need some good coin flips here, man, because we are now under pressure. Come on. Oh, 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 it's pain. Oh, oh God. Oh, you hate to see that three heads. Listen, I can make the deck as optimal as I can. I can't determine coin flips. There's a switch car and it's going downhill very, very fast. They get a turbo on the hands so they can retreat it with an energy. Oh, yikes. Big, big yikes. Even Iono to one. Odds are I'm gonna, they're going to hit an energy. This is looking very bad. Very, very bad. Oh, oh, oh. oh. okay. All right, let's, let's keep going here. All right, at least we get the reverse. Let's go for a level ball. And we, we hope, man. We, we hope. We pray. We just got to basically mill them constantly. That's what we got to do, right? <laughs> yeah, full cope, bro. Let's go full cope. Let's get ourselves a bit barrel. We need a counter catcher here. We have to get a counter catcher and just hope we don't get throw them into an energy off of the Iono. That's literally all we're trying to do now. Let's go for a squivet as well. Industrious incisors. And let's play a, uh, uh, a Roxanne. There you go. I swear to God, if I don't get a bloody counter catcher from this, there's a chance that that's the case. Okay, I guess I just lose then, right? Is that is that what we're saying? Are we saying it's just lose town? Yeah, we're talking lose town, are we? Mm-hmm. 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 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Squiver can save the day. Squiver can do it. Squiver can help. You never know. Squiver, Squiver can come in with a bit of, bit of, bit of clutch arena. Squiver for one. Come on. Do it for us, mate. Please. It's a game over. All right. Bye-bye. With this hat, it looks like I'm playing a Lugia deck, eh? <laughs> Since I might be playing Charizard here. And yes, that is a capturing aroma. I haven't played this card in God knows how long. But there's a reason for it. I originally had VIP pass, but... With four Ultra Ball, four Level 1 Artisan, you're usually pretty fine. And I needed additional evolution cert. The amount of times where I just didn't have a bit barrel and was struggling to find it, especially when you're playing Judges, Iono's, you're not seeing the most cards you could possibly see. So having an extra out to that just helps so much. Well, of course, we have it in hand. Let's play the Aroma. And it's a head. So, well, that would get us the Wug Trio. But uh, it seems like I might have to hold this hand instead of actually going for an Iono. Because we have a lot of cards that we kind of need. Heavy Ball failing there. That sucks. But why don't I just do this and just go from there because well clearly right it's very very clear i'll be a phone clearly it's we're not gonna get attacked next that said if we're not getting attacked next uh do you know what? i might iono here i'm actually iono screw it i must i should have failed the aroma because i'm trying to think i need to get in the active next turn so i'd like to find a jet and there you go <laughs> and we even have the artisan as well so we can come up with the wiglet the artisan will help them but i don't really mind that to be fair against charizard you just need to very aggressively mill very quickly speaking of let's go for a dig it a little, well, dig a little, not dig a, dig a, dig a, dig a, dig a little, 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 okay, we got tail. But yeah, you want to be aggressive because they don't really have any liabilities to throw in the active, right? Especially if it's Pidgeot, it's Pidgeot and not the barrel, which now it's more popular, but in post rotation, the uh, the Pidgeot being more, but in post rotation, you're going to have the, uh, what's it called? The Great Tusk Mill. And you can tell I'm very excited about that. Like, and it's looking to be at least like tier three, tier two. So to have a genuinely viable mill deck in the format is going to be so cool because I'm just a fan of mill in general. I, I'm, not, I'm not the full degenerate, okay? I'm just a fun degenerate. I'm a degenerate who enjoys having fun, all right? I don't play no Snorlax. All right, let's bench this Bidoof for extra coverage. I'll throw a Squivet in play, and we are just going to judge here. A, a Turbo would be nice, but I doubt it. We only played two copies of Turbo. I did cut my Turbo count, but that's still not terrible hand at all. In fact, do I do I go for a... Uh, I was thinking if I attach the Blunder to one or the other, but okay, no. In that case, I'm just going to throw a Reversal here, and then next turn we can go for it, I guess. It's a shame we don't get the mill here because i said i need the aggressive milling but hopefully judge has done some work here there's a wreck handy run up straight oh my god i hate this when you play charizard you dodge him into a wreck handy pidgeot it's outrageous right well the pidgeot's going so they, we're gonna start literally amping up here but as soon as they take a ko at least my wug trio will actually be activated reversal wise so we will be milling next turn if they take a ko so that's good at least and i also like the fact i got double the barrel because they could target a barrel i mean you don't see people doing that a lot because they're super intimidated by the wug trio they're like Oh, uh, they could mill me. So I'm going to take out the Wug True. Not the Bib Barrel. So a lot of times you'll notice you'll play a, like one Bib Barrel on the bench and you'll be fine because they just don't gust it up. Either way, here is the Charizard. And I want them to evolve into a Charmeleon because the one that they play nowadays has a two retreat cost. Um, but at that point, they would just evolve it, wouldn't they? So yeah, the counter catches aren't going to be that valuable here. That said... It could at least force some energy attachments where they would not want to. Lost City, though. Oh, that's bad. That's super bad. I was going to rescue carry this turn, but nope. We're getting Lost City. That sucks. But it's not the end of the world. We can we can counter that. We have four stadiums, so. And I think Charizard only typically plays the one Lost City. And they play, like, collapsed stadiums and stuff like that. I think you only see the one. Uh, they might play two. I don't recall. I don't recall, you see. I have become posh all of a sudden. And that's a bit of a waste of a blunder policy, huh? So, I will just... I'm gonna nest dash for barrel. All of these cards I kind of want. Uh, uh, the Ultra Ball does get me the Wiglet. Oh, hello, it's an Erica. Uh, I don't think you're gonna be useful in this one, mate. Sorry about that. There we go. That's kind of more what we wanted. Roseanne's backup's nice to recover energy, but I think I'm just gonna Iono here. Let's just Iono. I need the Artisan, bro. Oh my god, am I with the Artisan? No shots. Okay, uh, we are going to just start playing Pokemon now. <laughs> I need to pretty much ditch this hand completely. I need to get rid of it. So I'm gonna level ball, get myself another Wiglet, and then I'm gonna Ultra Ball these two two away, fail it, and then go for Bebra. I need to get rid of that Lost City, bro. It's huge. Super important for me, man. Super important. Come on. Oh, my God. You've got to be kidding me. How have I whiffed the Lost City there? Ah, oh, I paid four Artisan, bro. I'm 20 cards left in deck, and I haven't seen it. What I've seen it once. Okay, fair play. And I've... Oh, God. This, this is looking terrible. This is the downside of the Wug Trio. It's a coin flip deck. Unlike the Don Fan, which is far more consistent, this one is just like... Sometimes you'll get good meals, other times you won't. And that's always been a problem. But for me, the biggest problem is this bloody Lost City. We are already two Wuxio lines down, which means I need to get maximum use out of Rescue Carrier 
I need to get that artisan back. But that said, you know, they need to take full prizes anyway, so I think we'll be fine. Uh, famous last words, maybe? I don't know. Um, yeah, let's just go for an Iono again. Just keep them low. I know Iono increases their deck size, but it decreases hand size, so it prevents combos. But uh, I swear to God, if you don't give me an out, okay, just, uh, just an out to simply get what I need here, I will get a work trio. But I need an artisan! Can I please have one? I'm gonna fail this lotto. Do you know what's funny? Arson wasn't even in that top seven. Where are my, where are my stadium cards? All right, I'm gonna dash this in sizes. I can then squib it. Oh my God, this is just stupid now. This is actually stupid. So from here, these cards are kind of dead as well. How many Arson do I have? One, I've priced two. Oh, Jesus Christ. And I can't even access my prizes. So that just sucks, bro. One artist. I mean, I should get some decent odds of pulling it here. I mean, I've churned through almost my whole deck, mate. Finally, we get one. I swear to God, if they throw another one down, you know it's just a wrap, right? You know it's just done. Right, on the sea tunnel, please, some good milling. That would be absolutely great for us. We're going to mill ourselves out at this rate. And it's ugh, another two tails. God, that's depressing. Okay, so everything that could possibly go wrong is going wrong here. Do you know what? We're seeing the worst side of things. Sure thing. Anyway, they're going to Pidgeot here. Probably just get an energy retreat or even a switch card. Now, they're just going to do the energy. What's that energy count? They usually see six. So, that's two in a discard pile. The odds most likely have one left. Uh, it's be smart for them to play a rod. But what I'm thinking is if I can bring them to low hang size, and then gust up things. It kind of forces a Pidgeot to not find Rod, but instead to find a retreat out. In which case, I'm trying to bite a turn. That's what I'm really, really, really trying to do here. But uh, we'll see. Right, rescue carrier number one coming in. Thank God I played two of them. And let's just pull that off. Get some wugs back. Thank God for that. Throw you down. And from here, I could, I could Roseanne's back up but that seems stupid. In fact, I might need to actually. Uh, yeah, I actually might need to to get one more reversal energy back. Um, I kind of want to judge though. God, there's a lot to... I can go through my whole deck here if I want to. So I think I have access to my whole deck. So I should be able to judge fine here. And again, just try and do that play of sticking them up. Um, I think from here, next turn, I'm going to need access to Roseanne's backup, I think. Oh, that said, I did have level ball. But uh, we're fine, we're fine. There we go. Let's work trio. I need Roseanne next turn to recover my... There we are. That's fine. And let's just mill again. Come Oh, give me some good meal here. I've been waiting. Come on. You can't. Oh, but uh, three tails. Oh, God. Literally everything bad is happening. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Great, great deck, Sean. Super optimal. Hey, look, 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 how, look how optimal this is. huh? So optimal. So, I'm so optimistic. And they can either now get the rod. And there you go. There's that rod. I don't think I have enough to mill now. I need two turns of maximum nine. That would be 18. No, it's not happening. I'm sorry. That was everything go bad day. That, let's forget that game ever existed. Right. So, as always, I wanted to give a fair representation of the deck. You saw those two beautiful games with the against the Chen Pao. Was it Chen Pao? I think it was Chen Pao and the Blastoise. Water decks just don't like being milled, apparently. And then the Iron Hands and the Charizard, where we just got demolished. So it is literally two sides of the coin in a coin flip deck. It's a coin flip deck. That's what I can say. You're going to just lose some games purely because you just don't hit your heads. It's that simple. And with that, it's unfortunate. And I think that holds the Bartrio back, unfortunately. Even though it averages at 4.5 mil a turn, that is based on the laws of averages, and that doesn't always work out in one game, right? You can get games where you get a lot more tails, or you can get games where you get a lot more heads. So it's a game that performs very well in a large, like in a best of one tournament, I could see this performing quite nicely. But other than that, I mean, yeah, it can be a bit rough. Also, actually, no, no, it might be worse in best of one. It might be better in best of three because you have more games to mill with. Hmm, I don't know, actually. Either way, I might be running this on a limitless tournament soon enough just to see how it does go because they usually are best of ones. But ultimately, this is the best I could put out when it came to Wug Trio before it gets overtaken by the Tusk. I cannot wait to play that deck. Either way, let's leave it there. Bye-bye.